I'm Leslie McDermott, and I had cancer treatment during the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm Madeline McDermott, and I stepped up to take care of my mom. She sure did. The chemo started the week before the lockdown. So my, my sister and Madeline came with me for my first chemo, which was nice. So at least they had an idea of the surroundings and what I would be going through. Um, but then that was the last time that I was allowed to have any, um, any people come. Well, when it really hit me, the I think the most obvious fear was, uh, what if she dies? Because my mom is all I have, so I don't exactly know where I would go. Um, but uh, I think later on in the week, I was kind of excited because my mom works a lot. And uh, with me playing the high performance volleyball, I didn't have a lot of time with her. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to spend more time together, which was really exciting. Yeah. And that we've done. Yeah. <laughs> I actually thought that the recovering from the surgery was going to be the worst thing. <laughs> and then I had this amazing friend come over with her husband. They brought some food and they sat down with me and they gave me the Wonder Woman uh, underwear. And they said, you've got to understand that the chemo is going to be really hard. And I didn't realize how hard the chemo uh, was. So I'm grateful that they kind of gave me that little heads up and really made me think, okay, because they're like, this is when you're really going to need us. And uh, she was right. So your body naturally, uh, after surgery, produces uh, fluids. Um, and so the, they put drains in. One of them was this was this long. It's inside your body, anyhow. And I am not good with this sort of thing. And this one over here was awesome. And she she had this thing called the Kama Lama, which is a little a llama that you can squeeze. And so she would hand it to me, and she's like, squeeze the Kama Lama, while the the nurse pulled. Oh. Caring for my mom, I think I always put on a brave face when, uh, for example, the needles, those are horrific to uh, have to inject someone. I don't want to put her in pain, but I know that the needles are not very comfortable and I try my best. I lay out the big uh, instruction manual on the bed and I read every single time like I'm going to learn something new to make it easier. But One, two. Congratulations, Lister graduates! Me and my mom went prom dress shopping before this all happened, which was one of the most amazing experiences that I've had this year. Uh, we found what I thought was the perfect dress and I was so excited and it was like, ah, uh, I don't know, it was such an amazing experience. So I was so excited to wear this dress to my prom and then it was definitely really disappointing to find out that that got cancelled and then, I don't know, that's something that I've been looking forward to. Yeah, so that's, that's not fair. Yeah. But, you know, she's not alone. Not alone at all. So it's her 18th birthday. She's gone through so much um, with the volleyball and school and everything. So I thought, cause she said, can I like, can I get a hug? Cause I mean, it's only her and I that are able to hug. So I thought, well, how can we do it? So I got her a hazmat suit and she wore the hazmat suit and a mask and gloves and, and she got to hug her boyfriend. So that was really nice. Uh, it was a, it was a weird, super weird experience. Uh, but I would definitely do it again. I think it was a really fun time. She doesn't have to do it again now because he's in our bubble. <laughs> Very lucky. Well, last chemo treatment after 16 weeks 
It's been really, really hard. I've been sick. I've had muscle aches, pains, ended up in emergency, lost my hair, my eyebrows, my eyelashes, everything, but it's over. Let's just beat cancer. And so when I rang the bell, I was um, emotional because it is, because it's, you're so happy to not have to go back. And of course, um, with every treatment, starting from when my, when my friend came over and brought me those Wonder Woman underwear. So after every treatment, Madeline would do a photo shoot with me where she'd take a picture with me in, a, in um, another piece of the, of the Wonder Woman costume so that by the end of all the treatments, I'll have every piece of that costume on. So for my final chemo treatment, I went in full Wonder Woman costume. I know that I'll have my appointment to find out about the uh, further surgery and then one step at a time because otherwise it's so overwhelming. For me, I'm, I'm hoping that I can go to residence and actually be on campus in September. Um, but I, it's not the end of the world for me. I know that my courses are all going to be done remotely for September, so I'm okay with staying home. It wouldn't be the best option, I think, but I would still be happy to be home. My mom. That's and, sweet, but I, I think it's, I, I think that she needs a break. <laughs> she needs a break from the cancer. I think that the residence is super important. But anyway, thank you. That's nice of you to say. But I want, I want her to, her wings to, you know, open up and fly like she's so meant to fly. Like a superhuman, like a wonder woman, she can do anything. Turn it inside out, turn it right around.